guys, Blay Anders here and last Wednesday was this year's Cup Series All-Star Race which this year for the first time ever was held at Bristol Motor Speedway. So for this year's race, the drivers that ended up advancing themselves into this year's All-Star Race through the All-Star Open that happened just prior to the All-Star Race were Eric Almirola, William Byron and Matt Benedetto, with Clint Boyer winning this year's fan vote. And then for this year's All-Star Race, like I mentioned in my All-Star Race video that I uploaded last month, where I told you guys that they were going to be experimenting with a new paint scheme concept and putting the car's numbers that are usually under the side windows back more towards the rear wheels and putting their sponsor that's usually above the rear wheels under the side windows. And then another change that they also experimented with this year, where they decided to put underglow lighting under the tail end of each of the cars that were already locked into the All-Star Race this year, with the Chevys having amber, the Ford having blue and the Toyotas having red and then the final change that they experimented with this year well they also decided to add a choose cone so that on restarts drivers would be able to choose which lane of the track they would like to restart in. Now anyways for this year's all-star race Martin Truex Jr. started on the pole with Alex Bowman starting alongside him in second and after Martin Truex Jr. started on the pole he went on to lead in to Ryan Blaney who started third took the lead away from him in the opening laps and then a few laps later in this stage the caution came out for Kurt Busch came down into Brad Kozlowski going into turn one and slid completely sideways and went rear first into the outside wall in turn two which then on the restart Ryan Blaney was able to lead the rest of the stage to go on and win stage one. Then in stage two, Kevin Harvick was able to quickly take the lead away from Ryan Blaney, and then about a lap or so after the beginning of the stage, Ryan Newman got loose coming off turn four and slid down and bounced off the inside wall, which then brought out the caution. But then for the rest of the stage, Chase Elliott, who was then able to take the lead away from Harvick after the restart, went on to lead the rest of the stage to go on and win stage two. Then in stage three, Chase Elliott went on to dominate and lead the entire stage to go on and win stage three. So then in the fourth and final stage, since the All-Star Race always has four stages, Chase Elliott went on to also dominate and lead the entire final stage to go on and win this year's All-Star Race and bring home $1 million. So congrats to Chase Elliott owning this year's Cup Series All-Star Race. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video, be sure to put down in the comments below what you guys thought of this year's All-Star Race at Bristol for the first time ever. For me, I thought it ended up being pretty fun, especially getting to see my favorite driver Chase Elliott win this year's All-Star Race, and I'm really hoping that they'll be able to continue to keep going to different tracks to run the All-Star Race each year from now on, just to change things up every year. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, or later.